Goofy. I'm standing in front of the apartments where my mom committed suicide three months after giving birth to me. She put a gun to her head and took her own life. I'm told that the, the reason was she was having real bad migraines due to some bad pork that she had ate. And she just couldn't take it anymore. Maybe uh, postpartum depression played a part in it. I'm not sure, but I was three months young and my mom put a bullet in her head. I'm standing on El Segundo between Normandy and Butlong. These apartments, that's where I came home to from the hospital. Follow me, I'm gonna tell you my story. Get to know me a little, come on. Grew up on triple one in Avalon, cross the street from Sojourner Truth. That's Locke's hot continuation, case you didn't know. So the year's 87. Right after my mom passed, we came here on 111th in Avalon. Right there, right there, the first one. Right across the street from Sojourner Truth. Which is where I'm standing, right in front of. Yeah, those apartments right there. Number one. That one. That's where I live. That's where I grew up at. Memories right there. Humble beginnings, yo. Grateful for it. Made me the man I am today. I mean, I've been through some shit, right? But it wasn't all bad. We had some fun, yo. Remember, we used to jump from the top of the apartment building to this building right here. Crazy ass little daredevil. Feelings. Come on. Baco got done dirty heat, didn't bang, but got slain in front of them apartments. Remember, like it was yesterday, all the hardship that it caused us. It was daunting PTSD. After that, it wasn't the same to play hide and go seek. No, it's not just me. I'm sure you can relate. Still, don't ever lose the faith. I promise you, I'll do the same. I get it cracking. Policies and pistachio. You get it cracking. Policies and pistachio. We get it cracking. Policies and pistachio. Let's get it cracking. Playing hide and seek was not the same. But well, man, right there. Whenever we would run, when we, whenever we would run, like by here or up and down these stairs, trying to get away from people trying to, you know, tag us. Like while we was, like, like, we'd be playing freeze tag or how do you go see? Like right there, we would all feel something. You know, like it was an eerie feeling. So yeah, that's what I meant in that line when I said playing hide and seek was not the same. It was just. I can feel it right now, yo. Know? Like, crazy. There used to be trees right here, look. Those things are crazy trees. The pine trees. This my, my door. Yeah. So, it was an uh, unusual upbringing for me because in these apartments it's like all family at the time Good old days, right here. Played football, soccer, 
This is home plate right here. Oh, and I said, even had my first kiss in the back of that building. This is it. <laughs> first kiss right there. Badass kid. Was wild as children in the rush to live in. Get it how we live and now I'm sitting here just thinking and reminisce about them good old days. Them good old days. Them good old days. Yeah. Take me back to them apartments where we all were playing. It's the alley. I'm going to take you on the path I used to take to school. To walk the elementary school. It's the path I would take. We all would play and it was always late. Them were the times, not a worry in sight. All they having fun, having. This was my, my best friend Matthew's crib right here. I used to come here, we used to play and shit. Memories and that, that, that. This right here is the homie Marvin's crib. And think about when we would all hit up the candy house Get Jolly Ranch and sodas and hella hot Cheetos So much of McCallis and oh yeah Chili Fritos My favorite were Doritos with lime and tapatio And I chose the jalapenos, churros and raspados Man, what I get to go back just for at least one año Get into my elementary school, right? Quick little story, yo I remember in this corner, this little corner right here On Stanford in 109th I remember being in the second grade playing on the playground, right? And the car just like burning rubber, right? And then out the window just start busting in the air like an automatic weapon. It was a Uzi or something, but just start shooting in the air while all the kids was outside playing. I was one of them. I had to, everybody hit the deck, you know? And yeah, we went into lockdown after that. But yeah, that's just a little story. I just remember that. I thought I should, but come on. Notice I was down. That drink had me loaded on the ground. Was sick, I was lost, but now I'm found. But that don't mean that I'm holier than that. Story time, story time, story time. Yo, I just thought of a story I was gonna share with y'all. <laughs> Funny story, look, it was this one kid, he was a sixth grader. I knew him from the previous year in, in uh, elementary. I was in the fourth grade, I went to the fifth. He went to the sixth. And I, I had got word that sixth graders get called scrubs or got called scrubs. I don't know if they still carrying on that tradition or not, but they would get called scrubs, right? So this whole, I think it was like the first week of like that school had started back, right? So he had just became a, a scrub, you know, a sixth grader. And I had just started fifth grade. We would walk in the morning, my auntie, Christina, and my, my cousin, Dudo, and um, Meesley. Wait, I don't remember Meesley being with us that day, but he might have been. I I'm not sure. But it, for sure it was me, uh, my cousin, Dudo, and my auntie, Christy, right? We were walking right down this street, right here. And for like that whole week, I would have been, I had been seeing him. His name was Aaron, right? I had been seeing him walking with his friend. <laughs> I don't know if it was his cousin or what, but they would always be walking to school together. At the same time, we would always cross paths right here. And every single day, I would be like, scrubs, scrubs, right? Scrubs, like yelling scrubs. At him. And he would get mad, right? He, I, I could tell I was getting under his skin. So I just would keep doing it because for that same reason that I saw that it was affecting him, that he, he was getting mad, right? So I was like, I'm gonna keep calling this because this shit funny, right? One morning, I guess he got fed up. He was like, yo, if he called me scrub again this morning, I swear I'm going to go do something to him, right? So, sure enough, right? Lo and behold, we see him. I'm like, dude, watch this. Scrub, scrub, right? <laughs> he get, right? He take his backpack off, come across the street. Hard, like, he about to, you know, ready to fight. As soon as he get close enough, <laughs> right in the jaw. <laughs> I hit him square the mountain, like, no, Quincy, no, no. But yeah, like, I, I hit him hard as I could, Joe, right in the boom. He, he his friend, come on, let's go, let's go. And he just went and kept going. He went to school, man. He probably had a blackout the rest of the week, so I don't know, but that's not funny. But it was funny at the time, y'all. I was a little ass kid, you know, in fifth grade, and he came. Trying to like, you know, he was going to bully or punk me or something, but I guess I was being a bully. I don't know, but 
it was just jokes, yo. And then he got mad and got beat up by a fifth grader that day. Let's go. Come on. Only other than I got my mind right. But Loki's still a mess, still be stressed, depressed, but yeah. Hey, Dad, you should call that story. Are you tougher than a fifth grader? <laughs> <laughs> Staying out the way, minding my own business, begging for forgiveness. Please let me make amends, kneel to God and repent for all the wrong I did. I was just a kid, no excuse, Lord. I accept full responsibility for my actions and decisions. We used to play Duck Duck Goose around here. Did you know how to play Duck Duck Goose? Yeah, yeah we used to all sit down right here in the circle and then go around. Somebody's a goose and they just happy. Yeah, yeah. That was my fifth grade classroom right there. Right there, Miss Smith. One of the best teachers I ever had, yo. Shout out to Miss Smith. And thank you for everything. She was awesome. I'm trying to capture this moment. About to snap on this track. Hit the facts that I'm flowing while trapped in this whirlwind. Catch me calm and relax while the raptures. They, they was calling me gifted back then. They said I might be gifted. <laughs> I'm exposing my face for the sake of the fate of this old man. I'm tired of the trash shit. The state of rap is just lame. It's a shame. It's so tragic. Don't call me a has-been. I ain't never got my just due, but trust good. I must. Yo, look. This was right here. It's where I spent all of my fourth grade year during recess and lunch and all that when kids got to go play, I had to stay in the office and write I'm sorry letters for my fourth grade teacher, Mr. March, because I couldn't step foot on the playground without getting into a fight. That was harsh reality. I didn't get to go out to the playground my fourth grade year. It might have saved my life though. So thank you, Mr. March. For real, for real. Saved me from incarceration, all that, YA, all that, because I, I couldn't go out there without getting into a fight. I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me or what I was going through, but yeah. So I was banned from the playground, couldn't go to recess, or after lunch when they got to go play, I had to come to the office and sit in the little ass room and write letters saying why I was sorry, or standards and shit. Shit was crazy. I was a fucking, I was a mess, yo, come on. I was a kid, now I'm grown up. <laughs> go hard or go home, but while I'm going for the throne, I'ma go nuts. I wrap circles around you niggas, see smoke, and they call it doing donuts. <laughs> I'm going too fast at the gas for a pass, I need to stay. Yo, yo, look, this is how we would get up on an auditorium roof. <laughs> so, what we would do, we would climb that, that fence and then swing. Like grab onto the, that that right thing right there, where the water, the drainage thing. Then put our foot on this little crevice right there, and then get on, and then we'd be up there. <laughs> Throw water balloons at ice cream trucks and stuff that went by. One time I hit the ice cream truck right in the window, scared the shit out of the man and you know the ice cream man, but it was funny at the time. <laughs> That's the shit we would do. Yeah, this is our playground, yo. That basketball court, man. That's where I got my J. Fade mm, away. <laughs> I'm just playing. Come on. This was where we would get the carom boards and shit, all that right here. Out of here, the basketballs, the soccer balls, the handballs, tether balls, all that. Right here, That's that room right there had all for the after school program, right? We would set up right here and play after school. I wasn't even signed up for that school program. I was just to be here, you know, because I, because it was fun. It was a place to be after school, you know. And then after that, I just walk home. That was. I'm past baked with a high face that I cannot hide, but it's fine. Could have swore I was abducted. If I wasn't, then tell me how the fuck I'm up in outer space, taking in the view of the globe and bumping pock in the spaceship. It should be floating. I've been the whip, take a ride with me. Let's ride. I got some flight, come get high with me. Let's fly. I've been the whip, take a ride with me. Let's ride. I 
I got some flight, come get high with me, let's fly. Hop in the whip, take a ride with me, let's ride. I got some flight, come get high with me, let's fly. Hop in the whip, take a ride with me, let's ride. I got some flight, come get high with me, let's fly. Yo, this is the Kedrins I used to come to as a little kid. This is where I first put on a baseball uniform, yo. We played for like an actual baseball team. Right here. I think youth centers are really important for the development of our, our youth. And yeah, give them something to do. I, we would have a bunch of stuff to do in here. They had a pool table, games, basketball, all kinds of stuff. They'll help you with your homework, all that. Just come up here and play, get on the computer. Stay busy, you know, which is necessary when you growing up in a gang infested, drug infested environment. So instead of becoming a statistic or a product of my environment, I chose to stick to baseball and stuff. You know, join the baseball team, it was T-ball. I remember it was the Marlins. <laughs> we was dope, but yeah. Anyway, Kedron, dope, part of my childhood. Um, kept me out of the streets, kept me out of trouble. As you can see right now, it's closed, but we are in a pandemic, so it makes sense. But anyway, yeah, just wanted to show y'all the Kedrins, yo. Any other programs like these are like the Y or Boys and Girls Club, stuff like that, man. Places where the kids could come and do something productive, something positive. That's necessary, yo. In every inner city all around the world. So yeah, played a significant role in keeping me on the right track, you know? Yeah, that's it. Come on, let's go to Jumpers now. Potential, being on some other whack shit. Fuck rapping to pursue fame. I do this as a hobby. I'm an alcoholic. I only do this for who's by me through the ups and downs. If I don't make it, I ain't tripping. Yo, gave my best no regrets. At least I can say I did it, yo. Won't stop till I get it, though. Won't drop till I'm finished, bro. Won't flop, I deliver, ho. Flows hot, but I spit it cold. In case you didn't know. <laughs>